Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today we're looking at the updated NTEC DMX USB Pro, uh, because there's a couple things that this uh, box can do, and there's some a few things new about it, so they sent me a new one, um, and I also want to give an update in this video, so we're going to check out this new box, and we're going to give you an update on what's going on with the EMU software and how this new USB Pro uh, does fit into it. For those who aren't familiar, um, the Entech DMX USB Pro, as they say, is the original pioneer. They did invent DMX to USB, um, as far as I can tell. And uh, for years, and in fact, even, you know, we've used these things, these DMX USB Pros, they're 170 bucks, um, and you plug them in USB, they just work. You know, they're a good fit if you're using, like, LightKey, if you're using uh, NTEX EMU now, if you're using laser software, there's a lot of different softwares that can use these. Um, so now they've updated it, and same price. Um, what they're telling us is updated is uh, a little bit of an improved design. So it's now an ABS case, so that's plastic. Um, and you might say, I don't want a plastic case, but I really think it's fine. Like, it, I think it's a little smaller, too. Um, and it's plenty durable, and it's lighter. So if you have this in your bag or something, in your backpack, it's not adding weight to it. Because I don't know about you, but my backpack's always too heavy. Um, and so they did that. Um, the other thing they've done is has to do with their emu software okay now i do have to say they've got an unboxing video here uh from one of their engineers in australia and i do have to say for a box this small it's always frustrated me how big the packaging is for the dmx usb pro i've actually i've got it over here i mean it's huge right for this box and a usb cable um I wish they would have changed that in this video. They claim they love the size of the package. It's it's not that big of a deal. It's just a small box. Um, so anywho, <laughs> that being said, um, so Emu, interestingly enough, is their replacement for their DMX software, which we've covered on here for a long time. Uh, so I'm going to go plug this in and launch Emu, um, because what they're doing is they're actually kind of roping into Emu also, their Pro Manager software, which uh, is a configuration tool. So if I launch Emu here, super quick, and hopefully the whole screen shows. All right, so we got that launched. I've got my screen record full screen now. Um, so their Emu software comes up. You get this configuration. You can actually hide that so it doesn't show and start every time. Uh, and you'll see here, um, so this is a program for entry level like band and DJ and sometimes church lighting too. Uh, it replaces their DMXs. We've got some tutorials on it. Uh, and it's in development right now actively. It's not perfect, but it is good. It shows some improvements over DMXs and they're working through the bugs quickly. Okay, um, so the DMX USB Pro shows right up. I did have to, I had a, a I think I have a bad USB port on this hub. Um, so I had to unplug it, rescan for devices, it showed right up. You can set your DMX output universe from the software, but then there's this little configuration here. And this made it so easy to update the firmware, which I thought was cool. Um, why do you need to update firmware? Truth be told, with a lot of devices, there's never any need to update firmware. You buy it, it's got something from the factory, it works forever. However, they have you update it for um, if you're going to use RDM, which I had it hooked up to an RDM fixture. You do have to use Entex RDM controller software in order to do that, um, which is a different software, but it's also free. There's a paid version. It probably does other things. Regardless, I hooked it up to a couple RDM enabled lights. I was able to change addresses and stuff and, and see all the info about those lights. Um, and so firmware updates are cool because you just select it here. It maybe downloads the file maybe it's already downloaded i don't know it updates it you go get a cup of coffee come back it's done all right um you can change the dmx parameters don't do that um, unless you really know what you're doing you typically aren't gonna need that and then they also have just like in the whole like configuration thing they have a input section 
that shows you any DMX input coming in, both over the network, so network DMX protocols, and also on your USB Pro. So if you had something hooked up into the USB Pro that was a console or something that was sending DMX in, you could analyze it here, and it's going to show you all kinds of stuff about it. Uh, which is cool. If you're doing some troubleshooting, you got something going wrong technically, that can be helpful. Is it helpful? Is it that helpful for people using Emu? Probably not the average Emu user, but you know, I think what they decided when I was talking with their team is basically like, okay, we can have all these random apps that do all these different things for Entech, or they could just kind of throw it all into one app. And while some users aren't going to use this part, some users aren't going to use that part, having it all within one app kind of makes sense because then they only have to keep one app up to date. Okay, so Emu, great software. Um, not diving into that too much right now, but I do want to talk about the Emu licensing. So I asked the team about that when they sent this out. I said, hey guys, what's going on? Because as you may know, uh, over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, just head over there quick. We have our EMU upgrade program, right? Um, where basically what we do is uh, we sell you guys an NTech DMX USB Pro uh, at the online price, which is $162. Uh, it's it's uh, higher on Mtech site because they do want you to go through dealers. Um, so we, we get you one of those. We ship it for free. Um, we, we cover that cost of shipping. And then the the spiel, you know, the, the pitch the whole time has been uh, when there's an EMU box available, uh, it will unlock the software fully, uh, a non-subscription software cost then. All right, David, myself, I just need to interrupt you here quickly. Um, I did ask for clarification from the team on whether or not the EMU box, which will be a lot like the DMX's box with some upgrades, uh, whether that would fully unlock the software uh, indefinitely without a subscription cost. And I got back some mixed answers. And basically, the the final answer that I got from them is that um, they're not sure whether or not, uh, they haven't confirmed yet, whether they're going to have the EMU box, have a subscription cost associated with it with a certain amount of free time, like other devices, which we'll get to in a minute, or whether uh, they, they will have that free subscription. And so, um, you know, I think, uh, and my opinion, and I've mentioned this to them, of course, is that a lot of our users here in Learn Stage Lighting, a lot of people in the U.S. would like to see it where you'd pay a little bit more for the box, but you'd get the subscription uh, unlocked so that it was not a subscription cost. And so uh, if you are in favor of that, definitely put it in the request section of their EMU forum. Uh, that's where they check the most. If you do have a contact with your uh, local Intech office, whatever country you're in, you may just want to let them know uh, if you would appreciate that, that, hey, you're interested in EMU, you'd like it to be non-subscription with the box when that does come out, and uh, that will definitely help, you know, sway their opinion as to, to which way they end up choosing to go. Now, back to you, David. Thanks. Uh, it will unlock the software fully, uh, a non-subscription software cost then, and you'll be able to send this one in that we, that we sold you and get your $162 back when you buy that emu box. So we don't know the price of the emu box. Um, more on that in a second. Um, but whatever it is, you know, we'll give it to you at the retail cost, but we'll subtract this when you send it in. Okay. So that's super cool. Um, and so we've got more info in a YouTube video on that. But let's talk about Emu's licensing because in the original video here, uh, you know, we were unsure as to what licensing was going to be. We were told there will be a subscription, there will be a non-subscription. So I have uh, some more info here in an email that I'm going to share with you. Okay, the first thing is there will be a free license tier always. Okay, to Emu. Now that free license tier is only going to have. Uh, there's going to be a couple things that it's that it's going to be limited. Uh, the first is it's going to be able to do all these different apps uh, like the DMX input. It says that there's going to be a portion uh, basically that's NMU. That's their existing program that you use to, to find NTech devices on your network or connected to your computer and configure them. You know, that's kind of all in here. You know, that's always going to be free, um, as are the generic fixtures and then the NTech fixtures that you want to control with the actual EMU software. OK, uh, you'll be able to use sound tracker and audio input uh, and it'll be really basic, but, you know, 
you can use it for free. Okay. Then there's going to be a paid plan. So the paid plan is going to give you the full fixture library. So when you go here and patch, you see manufacturers. Oops, I don't have mine licensed right now. So I just see Entech and generic. Um, and there's just some really basic generic lights. Okay. If you need more than that, they have over 15,000 fixtures, it says from 300 manufacturers, and you can request fixtures, but that's only in the paid version. And I just, uh, I just got a new computer, and so I haven't actually got a license on this one yet. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the transition. Okay. We still don't know when the transition to the new uh, EMU licensing where it's paid is going to be. I anticipate it will be sometimes this year. Okay. But they're not there yet. Here's what they've told me though, just, just to protect you guys and let you guys know what's going on is that once they get ready to launch the subscription pricing, if you've been using emu, that means you went to the website. If you go to the Entech website, okay. And you go and find emu, I'm just going to use the search bar and you go and you get a license through the website. If you've been using it, you've had it on your computer, you're going to get two months free just to begin. Okay. Then depending if you have an Entech product like the DMX USB pro or a DMXs box attached, um, you will then get more free subscription, uh, because of that. Okay. And those will be, at least as they have it sketched out right now, of course, they're subject to change. Um, and of course their website's not working right now. <laughs> um, but it will be, um, if you have a DMX USB pro, um, you will get three free months. Okay. And it's eligible for past and future purchases. So it's just going to be, I assume based off your serial number, uh, you'll be able to register that. Okay. Then, um, the Entic ODE, which is an ethernet to DMX interface will be six months. It's more expensive. It's like twice the cost. So that makes sense. And then if you have a DMX's box, hold on to it. It still works with emu and you'll get 12 months of the free subscription to emu. Now what's it going to cost? Okay. The emu subscription right now is scheduled to have the free version. Like we talked about, and then monthly $10 yearly once a year a hundred dollars three year price two hundred and fifty dollars and what we're guessing and again this is the the part that we haven't confirmed fully yet and i don't think they're gonna know till later because um just with the chip shortage they're having they're they're not getting the box out right away um it's just not gonna be here probably not this year um but uh, when that box does come out i imagine it will be wink, wink. I imagine it will be similar in cost to the DMX's box, which I think uh, when they stopped offering it was three seventeen. Um, so I would guess it would be under three fifty. Again, that's my educated guess based on the price history in the past, based on talking with the team. It's not official. Don't go, you know, telling your congressman or whoever that they can get an emu box for that price. But when it comes out, as mentioned, guys, I know there's a lot of information. Uh, uh, if you got a DMX USB pro, whether it's the old one that looks like this, whether it's a new one that looks like this, if you did purchase it through us, uh, as part of the emu upgrade program, we'll let you mail that back in. And if you want to buy an emu box, we'll give you that $162 subtracted from the cost of the emu box. Um, and that's just our way of trying to help the community, help folks transition to this new software. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's going to be pretty break even for us. So um, we're, we're really doing this, you know, uh, to help the community. Of course, we've got learn stage lighting gear. We've got more and more brands. We keep adding to this. Um, and, and if you need other lights, of course, we would love to help you with that. If you're in the U S we would like to help you get those lights that you're looking for, get your personalized price. But again, for the EMU program, there's no obligation. You just, you know, buy it. And, uh, and then when the box finally does come out, this stinking chip shortage, uh, <laughs> we will contact you we will let you trade it in if you want, or you can totally just keep your DMX USB pro pay your $10 a month or hundred a year or two fifty for three years and keep on rolling with what you had. All right. Um, so hope that helps guys uh, to have a little bit more of that preliminary info. I know a lot of people have been asking for it and I really hope this helps you with your lighting. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.